one. There you go. All right, no back calls today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside Breton Education Center Gym for the first semifinal of the 2023 Cole Bowl Classic. This game features the host, Breton Education Center Bears, against rival St. Mark's Lions. My name is Alex Cloud. I'm joined this evening by Nathan Penny. Nathan, great to have you here. Big game here tonight, Al. Jam-packed gym here in Breton Education Center. St. Mark's, the two seed, coming out of the Mark Walzak division. Luke McKinnon for three, off the mark. Rebound taken by McNeil. Scramble for the loose ball. We're gonna have a jump ball called. It'll be Lions possession. Good look there from McNeil. Tried to find McKinnon under the hoop. He's really had a good touch here with the apple trees. He's been shying away from his shooter ability. Taking more of a playmaking route this week. And you can tell Coach Peters has studied this Bears team as he's shouting out which press they're running. So obviously they practice different press breaks in preparation for this evening's game. It will be uh, interesting to see if Coach Peters is able to contain that. So we're going to have a foul call. It's going to go against number 15, Cameron Mellenhorst, his first personal. Yeah, like I was saying, Alex, this week has been a tough press to crack. Opposing teams can't seem to really find any answer to the pressure of the Bears this week. Is that second chance effort there by Logan LeBlanc. It's gonna be out of bounds. Good awareness there by Tyler Doty. See, almost passed it back over half, but waited that extra second. Very close to eight seconds as well for the Lions. Kearney now, drives, flip shot, won't go. Tipped out, it's Cohen, McDonald in the corner. Passes down low, Logan LeBlanc can't get the roll. Second chance won't go, third chance won't go, but he's fouled. Only a matter of time if you give him that many opportunities, Alex. 6-6, six, six, Logan LeBlanc. Already three offensive rebounds, a minute and a half into this one. And he never, never regathers that. He stays right there, catch and shoot right away. So great work from the big man. That foul went against David Kelly, his first personal, second team foul. As LeBlanc's unable to hit the first. Still scoreless here. And he changes that. Gives back the 1-0 lead. 
Ross, gets it over to Kelly. The skip pass, that's exactly what the Bears want you to do in this press. But Luke McKinnon's gonna get called for a carry. That split second hesitation there from McKinnon. It's the short passes that are gonna help you be successful against this type of press. They want you to throw that lob when they're so long and quick. They know they can cover enough ground. Coach, Coach Peters right away doesn't like what he sees with the, uh, the press break. So he's gonna gather the troops here. Get them back to what they've been seemingly been working on coming into this tournament. You hear him screaming from the sideline. So obviously they've been working on the press break. Watching them all week, they know how it's how it's working. So Coach Peters is gonna try to get the uh, get the boys back under wraps here. And if you're St. Mark's, you have to like a low scoring game. Absolutely, at yeah, one point. I know it's only a minute and 30 in, but the starts that Beck has had throughout the week, I mean. Yeah, in the first half, they've been averaging over 20 points per quarter. So a 1-0 start. They've done a good job so far getting it over with the press. Just a couple of adjustments that that they'll make. Coach Peters doesn't seem too concerned. Quick check, get the boys back out there. Obviously, there's a couple of adjustments Coach Carney's going to make on the other end as well. He can't be happy with only a one nothing lead right now. I mean, he always wants that pressure. I mean, he'd take this final score. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. He, he definitely wants to see a little bit more coming out of his press and offense. Again, we see LeBlanc with a great read. Really kind of quarterback in that press. Ross. Good defensive effort there from Logan LeBlanc. Tips it out of bounds, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Ross. Gets it in for Doughty. That one taken away by McNeil. Nice pass there for Carney, and he finishes off the backboard. Nice adjustment there from Carney. Nice little scoop shot. Gets the left to go. There's pressure picking up here. Lions have to get it over, and they are unable to. It's going to be an eight-second violation in the backcourt. That's the pressure that they've been looking for. They were... Uh, very close on the last couple of previous possessions, so. Coach Kearney is not afraid to shy away from letting the refs know about the eight seconds either. He was yelling right away. And Nathan, we talked about this the other day when John Gee was with us. Not only does the pressure uh, of the full court press by the Bears lead to turnovers, but when they do it for an extended period of time, it's the fatigue that it puts on. Really, the really wears teams. down. Almost had a nice little alley-oop there. Kearney. Yeah. Kearney tiptoes the sideline. He'll pull up three, just short. Rebound taken by McKinnon. Kick out, intercepted. Kearney, back for LeBlanc. He'll pull from long range, just off the mark. Rebound tipped, taken by McNeil. He goes up and one. Down it for Ethan McNeil. Big battle there for McNeil, too. Fought for that offensive board. A foul is going to go against number 15, Cameron Mellonhorse, his second personal, third team foul. Neil looks to convert the three-point play. He's able to convert. McKinnon able to get a foot in the lane there. Knock out the opportunity. Yeah. 
Good D again there from LeBlanc. Tough fadeaway. Dave Kelly's not able to get it to go. Fortunately, he'll tip off LeBlanc's hand. They'll regain possession with 14 on the shot clock. Nice little inbound there for Kelly. He's able to get to the rim hard. Can't get it to go. McNeil battles for another hard rebound down below. Big effort for McNeil. He's not able to find McKinnon in the corner. from Ross is good from the corner. Carney. Floater gets the friendly roll. St. Mark's did a great job there clogging the lane. Carney able to get a tough, tough shot to go. Welke. He'll take the pull up and he's able to connect in the mid range. Back and forth we go here, early stages, first quarter. McNeil. No look feed from LeBlanc. Fight for the offensive board, taken again by LeBlanc. He's battling tonight. Top shot there taken by McDonald. It's gonna be tipped, and it's controlled by Welke. They get it up to Ross. He'll pull a three, he's the sharp shooter. Unable to hit on that attempt. McNeil gets into the lane. Kick out Kearney. He'll pull. Just off. Rebound again. LeBlanc goes up and scores. That's at least five offensive rebounds we've seen in the first five and a half minutes from LeBlanc. Just a beast on the offensive he glass. Is, he has been having a great rebounding display this week both offensive and defensively. Mid-range jumper, no good there from Whalen. Carney drives with a nice feed there. And the hoop and the harm for Logan LeBlanc. Be another personal on David Kelly. His second. Fourth team foul. As LeBlanc will look to complete the three-point play. Adding to this great start from LeBlanc. He looked like he was ready in warm-up, so I knew that we were going to get a quite a show here. Again, nice anticipation to deflect that pass out of bounds. Yeah, as the anchor of that press, it's so important for him to be able to get over, even just to get a tip out of bounds and prevent a fast break opportunity. Just to allow the boys to get back, right? That's the three. He's good from Ross. He's looking to heat up here for the Lions. Smooth stroke from Ross. Can't thread the needle on that attempt. It's taken away. Welke will control for the Lions. Quickly up for Whalen. Ross unable to keep things going there. Quick catch and shoot there from Ross. Thirteen ten to score here. Just over three and a half to go in the opening quarter. As McKinnon can't get the roll. Offensive rebound taken by LeBlanc, but he does step on the end line. It'll be Lions possession. against Welke. First personal foul, fifth team foul. Oh. 
Coach Kearney looking for the unsportsmanlike call. Didn't get it. Situation given, I don't think. I think Nikki made the right call, but right away, Colin McDonald nails a big three. Right off the inbound. Lions quickly up to Whalen. Welke. Over to Ross. Thought about the three. Kick to the corner. Back up top, Ross. Gets it over to Whalen. Five to shoot. Forces one up. Short. Out of bounds. We'll have a quick substitution. It's Yo Kim Coney coming into the game. And the uncontested layup by Ross is good. Kearney. Thought about pulling up, gets it over to McNeil. Down low, LeBlanc goes up, can't finish. But another offensive rebound. And we have a jump ball call. Will be remain Bears possession. Two thirty-four remaining in the first. Good hands there from Coney. McKinnon kind of just lobbed that pass, tried to get it to the Kearney in the back. Let's get past tip, taken by McNeil. That was LeBlanc attacking baseline. He goes right to the rim and finishes. Doughty, a pass picked off by LeBlanc, McDonald, he is Kip, having Kearney, quite the quarter. drives baseline and finishes once again. That all just started from the anticipation of LeBlanc back there. Ross, it's over to Welke, you got to get over half, they just do, it's going to be a foul call. Going to go against Kearney. His first personal foul, first team foul. It's Durando will check in for McNeil. Ross will launch from long range, short. Rebound taken, McDonald. Donald goes baseline, and that kick will go out of bounds. Through the five hole in McKinnon. Welke. Gets it over to Kai Roos. Ross now. Nice pass there low for Dowdy, and we're gonna have a foul called against Jackson Durando. First personal foul, second team foul. It's Cashin will check in for McKinnon. Good hands there from Carney on the inbound. Steps through the lane there, he's able to Pick up the foul. Welke. Pick up his second. Kearney able to hit the first. And short on the second attempt. Doughty now. Take it from Kairos. He'll pull up and hit from mid-range. 
Kearney, skip to the corner for McDonald. He'll pull from three. Won't go down. Rebound taken by Kairouz. And Wilkie's pass goes over the head of Doughty. Joe will check in for the Bears. As well as Mirko Fjorn for the Lions. Cashed it with the mid-range jumper. No good. Rebound taken by Fjorin. Tyrus tries to get it over for Ross. He does come and get it. The floater gets the shooter's touch. Friendly roll there from Ross. He's having a nice little quarter as well for the Lions. Bears can hold for the final shot of the quarter. Kearney using the screen for LeBlanc. Drives, gets to the rim, puts it up with the left hand, and that one goes down. Four to shoot for the Lions. And they're not going to get a shot off, so after one quarter of play, the score is Bears 23, Lions 16. Nate, this is one of the tighter quarters we've big, seen. Big quarter. you gotta be, you got to be pretty impressed there if you are Coach Peters on the side of the Lions. I mean, just holding the Bears to 23 points. Seems like a pretty good quarter, but I mean, in this tournament, the Bears have just been having great starts. Yeah, the Lions have dealt with the pressure of the Bears very well thus far. Really kind of taking the crowd out of it. I mean, most people were expecting a big game here right off the hop from the Bears, and they've had a a great showing defensively. I mean, the, the Bears have, have had a lot of great offensive possessions, but the Lions definitely have to be happy with the quarter they've played over there on their side as well. You mentioned the effort that we're seeing from Logan LeBlanc paying dividends for the Bears here early. He had six offensive rebounds in that first quarter. And I mean, even even taking that aside, you still have to be happy with the quarter that you, your team had defensively for the Lions. You know he's going to get the rebounds. You know it's going to happen. You just got to neutralize everybody else. So they've done a great job there. As Coach Carney will go back to the starters here to start the second quarter. So quick break for McNeil, and he's right back out. LeBlanc as well. It'll be Lions possession to start the quarter. They get it in for Welke. Over to Kelly in the corner. Back up top, Welke. Double bounce pass for Ross. Puts up the left-hand floater off the glass. Won't go down. Carney now the other way for the Bears. Pulls up from the elbow. No good. Offensive rebound. McNeil up and in. Lions easily beating the press of the Bears that time. Welke the skip pass for Ross. Quick catch and shoot. And that is an electric shot there as he hits from long range. Barely had it in his hands and it was up and in. Quick catch and shoot from Ross. He's really heating up. He had a, quite the first quarter as well for the Lions. Kearney tries to get it down low. LeBlanc, but it's intercepted. It's a high risk play there from Kearney. Ross, he's going to pull again. That one rims out. Offensive rebound. That three attempt, no good. Another offensive rebound. And Kelly will slow things down. He gets it to Welke. He drives, puts it up the left hand. Thought he was bumped. Didn't get the call. I think Ross hit the head of McNeil on the follow through there. He was shaking his wrist as he was backpedaling on defense. 
McDonald driving baseline, scoop pass inside. McNeil goes up and gets two. Welke. He's going to travel there. Almost got away with one. And Nathan, the Bears have done a good job so far. Staying poised as the Lions have given them their tightest game thus far this week. Not always easy when you blow teams out all, no, you all kinda, week and you, then have to play a tight one. Yeah, you kind of tend to sit back and relax and play to the other team, right, when you get into a couple of, uh, couple of blowouts. So it's see how the Bears make an adjustment. Kearney tries to find McDonald back door. It's picked off. Welke will come quickly the other way. Skip pass, Ross. He's one guy you got to find in transition because he will pull up for three at any given moment. He's a guy you can't lose sight of. That's got to be his fifth three, I think, already. So, got to get a guy out there if you're the Bears. If that press doesn't work, you got to get back because McDonald can't answer. Rebound taken by Kelly. Pass down low. Doughty goes up. Can't find it. Ross a big catch and shoot, so. McKinnon tries to answer with three of his own off the backboard. If you're the Bears, you just want to make him put the ball on the floor, see if he can beat you off the dribble. You know he can beat you off the shot, so. Strong take there, but a missed layup. Again, big D there from LeBlanc, straight up. McNeil does it all himself, gets right to the rim and finishes. He fights his way to the rim. That's a big one for McNeil. He's looking from the call there from Paul DeBailey. I don't think he's getting it, though. Doughty over for Ross. Welke. He'll pull from long range. Just off the mark. Rebound taken by LeBlanc. He should just record that. Play it back every time. Rebound taken by LeBlanc. Rebound taken by LeBlanc. We got to get a button. Nice pass to Ella for Cardi, but he can't handle it. Yeah, yeah. Neil will take away that pass. Gets it down low. The lob for Carney, and he finishes for two. It's a nice little spark they needed. McNeil. Nine-point advantage for the Bears. Ross, he'll pull again from long range. This time, no good. Rebound taken by McKinnon. Kearney tries to lob down low. Taken away. It's too far to lob it there for Kearney. The three won't go down for David Kelly. Rebounded by LeBlanc. Rebounded by LeBlanc. Kearney gets it over to McNeil. Down low, Kearney. Left hand will fall. Another nice apple there from McNeil. And a steal for McNeil. And the left hand finish gives the Bears a 13 point advantage and forces Coach Peters into a timeout. Big, big run there from McNeil and the Bears. Forcing Peters to take a timeout. Just got to get back to the way you, you started in the first quarter if you're the Lions. I mean, they've done a great job hanging with the Bears. And this is where the Bears will kill you, those points off the turnover. Before you know it, they'll have a quick 13-point lead. Their largest of the evening. And like you said, the Lions really not struggling too much with the press of the Bears. But outside of the three-point shooting from Ross, they're really not getting anything going on offense. 
Yeah, he's uh, definitely a, on a hot streak right now. And I mean, until he cools off, do you not, not go to him? Oh, you have to keep going to him. But when he's over guarded, I, I mean, you, you the, need those the, secondary scores to Bears step are, up and get to the rim. Bears are definitely going to make an adjustment. You're, you're, you're definitely correct there. So, and we just found out that the crowd does in fact have spirit. Yeah, yeah. Four thirty-nine remaining in the half here. Bears continuing in this diamond press. Tipped out of bounds by Kearney. No, not tipped. So it will be Bears possession. McNeil. Over to McKinnon. Up cash and back to Joe. Joe pulls and Joe finds. Joey Splash with the big three. Welkie. Gets to Whalen. Ross. Had time, one to three. Decides to kick out for Welkie. Back to Ross. Quick catch and shoot. No good. Rebanded by Carney. Good close out there from LeBlanc on Ross. It's Joe. Nice feed down low for Cash and can't find it. Offensive rebound and put back is good. Down at Owen Cash. He just wanted the chance at the three point play there. So. Takes the assist away from Joe, but. That foul going against Owen Smith. First personal, first team foul of the quarter. As Cashin makes good at the line. Ross. Skip pass. Kyrouz couldn't handle it. It goes out of bounds. Soon as he looked up, he seen Logan LeBlanc staring him down. In. I think we're going to have an illegal screen called against Cashin. That is the call. That'll be his first. Welke. They're working to Ross. Into the corner. Whalen. He pulls off the mark. Rebound. Taken and then turn over. Carney spins to the middle, goes up left handed, won't fall. Offensive rebound goes up again, no good. Controlled now by Ross of the Lions. Three minutes to go here in the first half of our first semifinal here at Cole Bowl 2023. Rebound to Pilot Blanc. LeBlanc gets a backdoor for Kearney. Goes up, can't finish again. Offensive rebound, LeBlanc twice now. Fight for it. Great hustle there from Cash, and he loves to see the effort. He but just he, went airborne there. He slides onto the sideline, but you love the hustle there as Coach Kearney is going to use his first timeout of the half. Holding a 19 point advantage, 2.35 to go in the first half. Take a quick moment here, Al, to thank some game day sponsors, or week sponsors, I should say. The Rotary Club of New Otterford, Bell Alliant, Breeling Construction Limited, Nova Scotia Power, PCL Construction, Bond and Cooling Contracting Limited, Cape Breton University, Orals Family Deli, Knights of Columbus Council 3209, Midtown Pharmasave, Something Creative, Taylor Flooring, 
and Big Daddy's Pizza. Forty-one twenty-two lead here for the Bears. Just about nearing the halftime break. And Nathan, I just I just got a note. Uh, T.J. Whalen's father actually won Cole Bowl. Interesting. Back in 1990 with Nicholson. Cool. So. No matter where you go, I guess there's ties to Cole Bowl. Welke gets it over for Doughty. Back to Welke, has to get over. He's pressured by Joe. Into the corner, Ross, three. Off the mark. Rebound. Yeah. Taken and set a check to see if Mellonhorse was all right as he went down there. Kind of went down on his shoulder and neck there. No worse for wear. Back to trying to contain LeBlanc down there. As our cam that camera went crunch, crunch, crunch. Ross will inbound. Welke. We'll have a football. Awesome. Well, he attacks, puts up the floater, blocked by LeBlanc. Carney now the other way, goes up and gets two off glass. Lions need a big possession here. Bex slowly starting to pull away. Welke gets it over to Kai Ruz. No good from beyond the arc. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Bears' possession as Kelly will check back into the game along with McDonald for the Bears. It's the ball. Take a quick break. It's a good time to get him off if you're our Kearney, so. The skip pass, McDonald freshly into the game and steps on the sideline. Tough break there for McDonald. Long pass for Ross. Yeah. Yeah, it's taken away by McKinnon. Just over a minute to go here in the first half. Drive Kearney, kick, and he's fouled. Foul going against number three, Owen Ross. His first personal second team foul of the quarter. Wide open, McKinnon for threes, on the money. Your shooters, your favorite shooters, favorite shooters. Long pass thrown, way out of bounds there. Bears will take over, 47 seconds to go. Two for one opportunity Absolutely. for the Bears as they look to extend this lead going into the break. That one is Fired off the glass. <laughs> Coach Carney can't do anything but laugh at that one. <laughs> nice backdoor pass for Tony goes down. <laughs> McDonald on top Carney. 
Drives, puts up the tough scoop, and that one goes in. Mellenhorst gets it over to Welke. Four to shoot. Drives, he's going to be fouled. That one will go against McDonald. Really not a bad foul to give there. Not, not in the bonus, just three seconds as he was going to the rim. And Joe comes up with the steal, has to put it up. And he will not get it off. Basket will not count. So at halftime, the score is Bears 48, Lions 24. We'll be back with you in approximately 10 minutes for second half action. We hope you'll stay tuned.
And we are back underway in Bretton Education Center Gym for second half action between the Beck Bears and the St. Mark's Lions. Bears holding a 24-point advantage at halftime as Joe extends that lead with a big three to start the half. Joey Splash. Two big ones. There's an assist from Joe to Luke McKinnon. Quick five points there. Head of the halftime break for the Bears. Has Joe, Joe again. again. Lefty. What a spark. Has he. Not a bad start for the kid. Almost had a buzzer beater to end the half as well. Needed another half second. In that first half, leading the way for the Bears, it was Ben Kearney with 17 points, followed by McNeil with 11 and LeBlanc with eight. And pacing nearly the entire offense for the Lions was Owen Ross. He had 16, including four made threes. 16 of their 24 points. As LeBlanc gets it down low, and another assist for McNeil. Always fun to see a great nine if they're commanding the offense and defense. He's, he's telling people where to go on defense. Just a happy all the time. He's just always happy. Oh, he's got a big smile on his face. Joe, thought about the three. Skip to the corner, Kearney. I think it's going to be travel. Nope, we're going to have a foul called. One or the other there, though, Al. That'll be Fiorin's first. Joined now by Bears assistant coach Carter Brown. Bit of a different start for you guys tonight here, Carter, but you seem to find your game in the second quarter, jumping out to quick lead here in the second half as well. So what are some halftime messages you guys sent to the boys just to get them back under wraps? Well, I think one of the big things was uh, turnovers. I think we were pretty careless with the ball early on, and we had 15 turnovers that half. That's so, a yeah, we've been getting a lot of steals, um, you know, off our press, which is really effective, but we're also turning the ball over just as much. So, you know, we just talked about telling the guys to take care of the ball more, and, and yeah, it's been paying off for us ever since uh, they started to uh, listen. Absolutely. That's been a big, big part of your week is that press right there and getting the points Definitely. off the turnover. So it's really good to see that established for in sure. the second half here. Thanks for having us here, Carter. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. It's Dowdy now controlling for the Lions. He gets to a turn pass. Nice fake. And goes in for an easy two. Able to end the little run the Bears put together to start the second half. As McNeil lets it run all the way up there. Full 24 for the Bears. Corner three. McKinnon. Nothing but net. Fifteen points in under three minutes here for the Bears. This is the start to the half that the Bears have been getting all week long. Yeah, they've kind of grown accustomed to these kind of starts. And, and we Steel touched on up with Steel. as I was talking with Coach Brown there. It was the turnovers that really they focused on in the halftime break. So minimizing those turnovers and getting big points off the press is really what they've been looking to establish in their game. And they've seemed to really get back to that in the second half as McNeil Jacks up a three, can't get it to go. Offensive board by Kearney. 
Nice put back there from LeBlanc. Strange, I don't think he had any offensive rebounds in that first half. Ross thought about the three. And intercepted by LeBlanc. He throws the touchdown for Kearney. He goes up for the layup. And Coach Peters has seen it off. He wants the timeout. The Bears have extended this to a 39-point advantage. With six minutes to go in the third quarter. Quick 19-2 run to start the second half for the Bears. And Nathan, if you're Coach Peters, there's nothing to leave anything in the tank for. You need to make a run here in the third quarter, trailing by 41 points. Obviously an uphill battle. What's, what's he telling his squad right now as they look to get back into this one? Well, they, they started with a great start to beat the press. So, I mean, they know it's, it's possible. And he seemed to have had the game plan right away of passing through it. They had, he seemed to know the exact press that the Bears were, were running. And they had the press break for that. So they had a great start establishing that. So let's try to get back to that game plan. I know that the shots have been tough falling for the Lions, but big stops defensively will lead to points at the other end. It will come. It has to come fast, unfortunately, but. And I think one of the other things for the Lions is there's no 41-point shot out there. They have to continue to sustain their intensity on every possession and try and get a good shot every time down the floor. You, they don't have really the opportunity for any wasted possessions. 16 minutes to go, trailing by 41. And it's, uh, they definitely have the the ability of the three-point shot I know you've seen in the first quarter can heat up pretty quick. So that nice quick catch pass there from McNeil sets up LeBlanc. Right away, just those points off the turnover again for the Bears. Two flybys for the Bears. Just that threat of the three-pointer from Ross. Joe gets it over to Ethan. And McKinnon's going to get called for a travel. Law takes it away. Skip pass. McNeil thought about the three. He'll kick to the corner for Joe. He finds McKinnon down low and puts it up and in. Another assist for Joe. Good anticipation again from McNeil. Pass taken away. Tough take there by Carney, and he's fouled in the act. That foul will go against number five, David Kelly, third personal. Pretty disciplined game from both teams. Carney able to make good on the first. And the second's on the mark as well. Bears aren't quite the run here to start the third quarter. It goes up and in there. For Kairouz. Joe, Skip, Kearney. 
And he'll hit again for long range. And it'll be interesting to see how Coach Kearney uses his bench this evening. A much quicker turnaround between semifinals and championship than any other game for the week. Nice, nice little lob from Bert Kearney. And a great adjustment there midair. LeBlanc finishing with the left hand. Bears on a 30-2 run to start the third quarter. Four, sorry. Math is hard sometimes. As Kelly is able to beat the shot clock from long range. In McNeil's face, too, mind you. That was a deep three. Ross for three, and he's fouled in the act. Hit by Joe. That'll be the first on Joe. It's Justin Chesson and Jackson Durando return. First free throw, no good for Ross. Second one goes down. Carney right back for the Bears. He finds Chesson in the corner for the three, just off the mark. Carney fights for it, able to win that. Can't get it to go. It's Kelly. Kairouz skips for Ross, thought about the three. Dishes over for Welke. He gets to the rim and finishes the and one. Count the continuation for Liam Welke. Durando second. Unable to finish the three point play, but offensive rebound taken by Kelly. He gets it back in the corner. A little heavy on the shot. Another offensive rebound, this time Ross. Takes it out for Welke. Almost intercepted. Kairouz will take the elbow jumper off the mark. Chesson loses the handle on it momentarily. Durando. Nice, nice dump pass. off pass. Great, Great feed ball. there. Setting up an easy one for LeBlanc. Welke. Pulls for mid-range, no good. They get Dan LeBlanc, left hand. That one goes through. It's Kairouz. Go for Welke. Drives, splits the defenders, can't get it to go. Offensive foul here going against Kearney. His second personal foul. Team's fourth. As Crosby and McDonald check in for the Bears. Welke. 
They go for Ross. Never been a shot he didn't like. That one won't go in. Big offensive board. He's able to get it to go. David Kelly. Durando will pull up. No good. Goes out of bounds. It will be Lions possession. Oh, there's actually a foul call going against Tyson Crosby. Tyson Crosby. And that's the 15th foul. May have missed bonus on that one. Half court heave, no good from Durando. So after three quarters of play, the score is Beck Bears 82, St. Lion, St. Mark's Lions 37. And Nathan, what can the St. Lions Marks do here as they move towards the fourth quarter? Game seemingly at a reach, but always something to play for. Oh, I don't know if I can recover from that one, Alex. That was a uh, an all-timer. You completely caught me off guard with the question. I didn't even hear what you said. The St. Lions Mark. Catholic High School. Yeah, they had a tough quarter. Bears outscoring. 44 to 13 in that quarter. Wasn't the slow start that they got out to. Early on, they just turned it up and never looked back. They're going with a full bench now to start the fourth. 82-37 ball game. Following this game, we will have the second semifinal between the Riverview Rural High School Ravens and the Hans North Flames. That will get underway approximately 20 to 25 minutes following the conclusion of this game. Crosby kicks for Durando. And then it's KOC Friday night, Al. It is one of the great sponsors for Cole Bowl. <laughs> Ross, hands off the three. That one just off the mark for Kibukilla. <laughs> Tomorrow's consolation and championship games will take place at 12 p.m. Followed by, and then the consolations at 12 p.m. Three-point contest to follow. And then our championship game at 12. We're going to have a foul call going against Owen Cash. His second personal foul, first team foul of the quarter. And we have a foul going against Durando. It's his third personal. Quick two fouls there for the Bears. Nice inbound play by the Lions. Dave Kelly's able to get it to go. Chess on back the other way for the Bears. 
tipped into his hand as he goes through the lane there. Welke. Kicks for Ross. Get it down low for Kelly. Back out Ross. Deep three. Won't go down. Corner, McDonald, three. Just like clockwork for Cullen McDonald. I'm not sure if his brother Gary can shoot that well. Oh, I'd have to agree. Cullen a sharp shooter from long range. I mean, I would say he's already better than his brother Gary. And Gary was a Cold Bowl MVP. I think you're only saying that because you know Gary's not in the province, Alex, but he might have something else to say about that one. Oh, I have nothing but love for my former assistant coach. It's McDonald tries to twinkle toe on the baseline there. Skip pass, Cashin. Gets over Chesson. Doughty now attacking. Can't finish layup. Offensive rebound. Fall away. Kibukilla won't go down. And I think we're going to have a foul there going against Kibukilla. The extent of the arm. Give a quick shout out to me old buddy Andrew McPhee who's watching at home as well. Great to have you with us, Andrew. As the fans chant, we want Derek and they get Derek. The fans get what they want. Derek Loro coming into the game. Sharp shooter for the Bears. I'm expecting big things. I'm expecting at least one three. Maybe even a dunk, dunk attempt. Who's going to be next, do you think? Who do the fans want to see next, Alex? It's always nice to see Coach Cardi giving in to the democracy, letting the fans choose his substitutions for him. Loro skips for Durando. It's a back. Loro pull up just off the mark. Offensive rebound, Cashin goes up and earns a trip to the line. That's Kibukilla's second personal. Cashin heads to the line. Free throw, no good. And now the crowd wants Zach. Let's see if Coach Cardi makes the call. I think he's feeling the pressure. The crowd making their will known. Maybe some of the most intense pressure he's felt this weekend. Taken away by Durando. Here he, comes. he does send Zach to the table. <laughs> Gonna have a foul call. I am loving the crowd's effect on Coach Kearney. Crosby goes up with the hook, no good. Rebound, fought for, taken by Beaton, goes up, can't finish. 
great hustle there from Cash and fighting for that rebound. He's had some pretty, couple of pretty athletic plays here, diving for loose balls. I'm interested to see who the crowd wants next. Still a couple of players who haven't gotten in yet for the Bears. A three attempt, no good. Rebound taken by Whalen. Kick out Doughty, over to Kelly. Kelly again pulls from long range. Still can't get the roll. And we're gonna have a jump ball. It will be Lions possession. Five forty-eight to go. And now they want Harry. Laurel off from the corner. Is he gonna come? There he is. <laughs> English Harry. Harrison Curtis checking into the game for the Bears. Just one more as the crowd wants Tyler. <laughs> as co assistant coach Tyler Madsen comes to check in. And Tyler Grant gets set to check in. I'm expecting big things. Comes in for Crosby. I think everybody's in except Carter. Crowd now cheering, cheering to get manager Andrew Lorenzo into the game. I don't think they're allowed to do that. <laughs> Just off the mark, Harrison Curtis. The crowd wants Carter in the game now. I think he's way too busy handling those training duties. Hold on, which Carter do they want in the game? I think they want managers. Yeah, they want Xander. At this point, I think you could give them anybody right now and they'd be happy. We want ice cream. As the three is good there, David Kelly. Strong take there for Beaton, earns himself a trip to the line. Beaten good on the first. And the second one is pure as well. And the crowd showing their appreciation for their control of substitutions as a thank you Sandy chant breaks out. Jim 
Kairou is able to connect on that one. Reminder that following this game, in approximately 20 minutes after the conclusion, we will have the Riverview Ravens taking on the Hans North Flames in our second semifinal. Promises to be a highly contested match. As Harrison Curtis pulls for the corner and hits from the corner pocket, Harrison Curtis. Chesson gets it over to Loro. He'll pull for three. Off the mark. Rebound taken by Whalen. He'll slow the pace. Throws the lob for Coney. Bobbled and knocked out of bounds. That will remain Lions possession. As the Bears take their first time out of the half. Forty-two point advantage. Just a couple minutes left. This game seems to be well in hand for Coach Carney's team as they will advance to their fourth Cold Bowl final in team history. They are two and one in Cold Bowl finals with victories coming in 2009, 2016, and a loss coming back. In 1987. Way back when. Back when Division Chairperson Doug McKinnon was the MVP despite losing. In a losing effort. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often, the MVP going to the losing team. I can't remember another instance. No. I mean, J.S. Jaguar got it in hockey, maybe. That's probably about it. And we have to give the Lions some credit. They stayed with the Bears for much of that first half. But really the strongest test the Bears have gotten all week. Really the depth of the Bears is what has They really made just came out in that, that second half and never looked back. I think they went on a 30 to 4 run at one point there. Grant gets it up. He's blocked. Beaton gets it, and he's fouled. He'll head to the line to shoot a pair. As that will be bonus, as our officials now realize. They almost got away with it twice. <laughs> Beaten, able to connect on the first. And short on the second attempt. And lob pass. They get it down low. It's Ethan Webb scoring for the Lions. As Webb will pick up his first. Derek Loro. Oh, 
head to the line. Laurel able to hit on the second attempt. And a foul called against Tyler Grant. The dunk contest will take place after this game. Always exciting. Three, no good there. Good rebound there from Grant. Chesson zips one. Through the hands. Kairos. Goes for Whalen. Into the corner, Webb. Back out for Whalen. And work it down low. Jumper, no good there for Stratton. Good Sorry D for Smith. From, good D from Grant as well. Straight up, no foul. Chesson unable to get it to convert. 10 second differential between game clock and shot clock. Smith, kick out for Whalen. Gets to the rim and finishes off glass. And the Bears can just dribble this one out. So final score, Breton Education Center Bears 92. St. Mark Catholic High School Lions 52. The Bears will advance to the championship game at 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. While the Lions will compete for bronze in the consolation at 12. We hope you'll stay tuned for our second semifinal this evening. We hope you'll join us tomorrow as well. We'll be back with you following the slam dunk contest and a 20-minute warm-up. We hope you'll stay with us for the night's game.